Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks Stove Bart Review. Now apologies if I sound a bit snuffly and bunged up today. Um, it's just that I'm recovering from a cold that started a few days ago whilst I was at work. Um, so I've been on hot lemons and painkillers for the past few days um, as it's started off with a sore throat then it turned into a full on cold. Um, it's slowly starting to go now but it's not 100% gone. Um, so I just feel a bit better than I did so that's why I'm doing the review today. Um, so before we continue with today's review um, I'd just like to address a comment that I had um, on YouTube from another user um, asking if I've given up on model trains. Uh, the answer to that is no, I haven't given up on model trains. Um, obviously with my nan passing away um, and everything else that's been going on um, I just haven't had time to purchase any new model trains as of yet but um, I've got some lined up that I do want to purchase um, so I've been on eBay looking at a few um, because obviously now that we're cracking on with the layout um, I'll be able to run some more locomotives and I really do want to get back into locomotive reviews because that's what originally my channel was set up for um, so no I haven't given up on locomotive reviews uh, but like I say I will be purchasing some hopefully in maybe the next few weeks, the next coming months um, I won't be getting like two or three a month maybe one or maybe two depending on um, whether funds allow um, because I do have a lot of payments going out of my wage every month so I can't just save all my wages and buy tons of trains every month so like I say local reviews are coming back to the channel um, so when they do I will try and let you all know okay so let's get on with today's review then okay so as you can see with today's review, um, we've got a Techno model. Now, one thing that I noticed with this particular model, when, before I even took it out of the box, was some of the parts fell off inside the box. Um, I don't know whether any of you other guys out there have had this issue, if you bought them off eBay, like I have, um, because it seems that everyone that I seem to purchase always has a part that falls off. But nonetheless, we've got some super glue, um, in the kitchen so after this review I'm going to go away and get these parts stuck on before I put it on the shelf for display in the loft. So let's crack on with today's review then. So as you can see it is by Techno and it's an Eddie Stobart truck as you can see. Um, so on the top of the box here we have the word Techno in white um, just give that a quick brush off with my hand. Um, it does look a bit grubby. Um, I mean it has been in my room for f some time now and I've only just got around to reviewing this particular one. Now on the side here as you can see again it says Techno. Um, it's part of the British collection. It's number 69. Um, we know it's the Eddie Stobart livery and it's a Volvo. I think it's an FH12 actually. And I think is that produced um, 8th 1998. So I think that means it was produced in August 98 so it is quite an old model so if we just have a look at the back of the box now um, we can see we've got this diagram on the back um, of some of the trailers and draw bars etc which Techno produce um, but like I say that doesn't really do the model justice at the moment so um, on the bottom of the box if I just show you this um, we can see uh, a bit of information about Techno, uh, the Holland based in Rotterdam Swig. Um, correct me if I pronounce that wrong as I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but it is Holland based in any case. And it is a 150th scale model. Okay, so let's open the box and take a look at the truck that's inside then. it out the box. Um, apologies if the light from the window is catching in the camcorder. Um, I've tried to set the tripod up in the best possible place to avoid the glare today. So as you can see um, it's, it comes in a foam tray um, which protects the truck 
Um, unlike Home B Loco packaging or Batman, there's no two holes on the back uh, that you can put your fingers through to push the model out. Um, so we'll have to take it out very gently. Now another thing which it comes with are these sponge inserts. So we will just take these out like so. So there's one there and there's just one here. Um, so these obviously protect the truck and the trailer from getting damaged. Okay, so let's try and get this model out with causing too much damage to it. Okay. So like I say, some of the parts have come off um, when the previous owner had it. So I'm just going to place this down here, remember, because there's some things that fell out the box um, that we'll need to show you. So the first thing that we've got in this home tray, um, I'll just take this out for a moment. Um, it's just a techno information um, piece of paper um, for a Mr. Les Duplock, um, who owned Model Road and Rail Limited in Surrey. Uh, I don't know whether Mr. Duplock is still going anymore. Um, so. He was the techno agent for Great Britain. Like I say, techno, they are still going up to today, um, but I don't know who is the agent for techno these days, um, as I just see them advertised on eBay. So I don't think we'll need to keep hold of that one. Okay, so the next thing that's come out of the box are the mirrors for the truck, um, obviously including the blind spots as well. Um, so we'll stick them on, like I say, when we stick the parts on. So we'll just put those to one side. Um, the next thing that we have is a little piece of paper with Techno written on. So we'll just put that to one side. Um, the first thing that has come away from the truck uh, is the foil um, with the Stobart European flags on. But like I say, we will be sticking these back on after the review, so we'll just put that safely to one side for a moment. And also we've got one of the... Um, oh, I can just grab hold of it, there we go. The side um, part to the truck um, that goes on the side of the fuel tank, I think it is, on the other one of the sides. Um, that's also come off as well. So we'll put that in the box just for a moment, and like I say, we will be sticking those back on. Okay, so what I'll do now, um, I will just disconnect the truck from the trailer, and we'll have a look at the tractor unit first. Okay, so here we have the Volvo. So as I mentioned earlier, it is a FH12. Um, obviously the foil goes on top of here. And I think the previous owner may um, have stuck it on and it's come off for them as well because there is marks around here that feel quite rough where uh, there's been glue applied. But not to worry, but we can sort that out. So, as you can see, it's a four-wheel tractor unit. Hence, obviously, the two wheels either side. So, let's start off with the front of the truck then. So, as you can see on the front, um, we have the word Stobart in white, which goes across the top of the visor just there. Underneath that, there's a fluorescent red um, sun visor, I think it is. Uh, moving down, we've got the windscreen. If I just bring the truck to the camcorder, and as you can see, it looks quite detailed inside there. Um, you can see the seats, etc. Moving down under the windscreen, um, we've got the name, which is, oops, a bit bad focus there, Pamela Jane. Um, and to the left and right hand sides of that are the Stobart S arrows um, in gold with the red backdrop. Moving down on the grill area, you can see we've got the word Volvo and FH12 just printed there, along with the Volvo logo um, just in the middle of the grill area. Moving down, you can see we've got the headlights on the left and right hand sides, as well as the indicators just under there. And on the bottom of the red and white striped bumper, we've got some lamps as well. I um, don't know whether they're just normal lamps or fog lamps, whichever you wish to call them. So, moving around to the side of the truck now. So, as you can see, um, 
this is where the piece of plastic has come from so like I say we will stick that back on um, on the side you can see we've got the Stobart European flags um, and the cab wrap design which is printed very neatly along with the, a gold Stobart S arrow and we also have the fleet number H008 so moving the truck around to the back now so as you can see on the back um, it's quite basic so it's not like the Corgi models where you have the number plate and the brakes and the indicators painted on um, so it's all in red um, so there's nothing much that I can really show you on the back of here moving the cab around to the other side now so again we've got the fleet number H008 as well as the Stobart cab wrap design and the gold Stobart S arrow now the cab also tilts as well um, or at least it should do, uh, it does do slightly um, so if I just show you under there obviously you can see the engine compartment uh, I know some of the cabs do tilt right the way forward but I'm not going to pull at this one so much that it snaps the cab off the chassis so that's the cab so what we'll do now, just put this to one side for a moment and we'll take a look at the trailer okay so here we have the trailer um, it's a box trailer as well um, obviously because there's no curtain straps on either side and it's a solid um, box on it as you can see it's a triaxle trailer hence the three wheels on either side so starting with the front of the trailer um, we have the Stobart S arrows now those remind me actually of the classic design when Stobart first started out um, so that's one nice touch to some of these techno models um, this area here is obviously where you'd have your airlines uh, like featured on the Corgi models uh, but Techno don't feature them, well not on these ones they don't but I don't know whether any newer models up to the present day do have them uh, but we've also got the trailer number just here which is MB1001 and that's printed on the left and right hand side turning the trailer round to the side now as you can see, um, just trying to prevent glare there, we've got the Eddie Stobart limited wording in gold with a red shadow effect at the back of each letter and the words express road haulage specialists underneath in white. Okay, apologies everybody, um, I just caught the tripod arm, um, which not the camcorder from the position I had it, so we'll just carry on with the review. So where were we? Yes. So moving on to the back of the trailer. Um, now we have got the Eddie Stobart wording on the back just here, as you can see, in a dark yellow gold colour. And um, that's got a red shadow effect back drop behind each of the letters. On the white centerpiece here, we've got Express Haulage in black, and that's got like a goldy dark yellow effect just at the back of each of the letters. Um, if you can just about see that, if I bring the, the trailer into the camcorder. Uh, again we've got the trailer number on the back there, which is MB1001. Now moving down we've got some warning panels, or hazard warning panels, whichever you wish to call them, on the left and right hand sides. And we've got the brakes and the indicators as well on the left and right hand sides, just above the red and white striped bumper. So moving the trailer around to the other side now. Obviously, as you can see, again, we've got the Eddie Stobart limited wording and underneath we have Express Road Haulage Specialists. Um, one thing that I have mentioned is that we also have some trailer legs just under here. Um, they pull down like that. Um, obviously, if the trailer is going to be static um, or if not, you can lift them up so that it can be connected to the truck. So... I'll just connect these two back up and that will conclude today's review. Okay, so there we have it. Um, thank you very much for watching. So that is the Techno Volvo FH12 in Eddie Stobart Limited Livery.